Welcome everybody to our tutorial number four. Uh, on this tutorial, uh, we're going to trim, cut, extend uh, some of those structural members that we created on tutorial number three. So let's get started. First thing first, uh, make sure you're actually on the structures layer. And as long as you're in the structure layer, you remember this uh, indicates that you uh, what's your current layer. And so last time we drew this structural member at the top, we made this three structures, structural members, um, individual members. So what we're going to do is delete this four that I have selected. So just uh, select them by clicking on them and just press delete. And they're gone. And first thing we're go going to learn how to uh, lengthen a member. So uh, let's, so under the structure palette, under cutting, you would see there is a button called lengthen member. Go ahead and click that. Let's read what's on the command prompt here. It said uh, select a structural member or delta or total. So we're going to choose the total. Um, so what we're going to define is uh, what's the total length of the structural member that we want. So uh, for my case, as you can remember, the grid was 12 meters long. So I'm just going to enter 12,000 millimeter press enter and here is a important point so on AutoCAD usually when you're lengthening or cutting a member um, the half that you click on when selecting the member to extend or cut it's the half that um, is the end that the extension or the cutting happens so there we go so now you can see let's escape to get out now you can see very nicely that it's one single structural member and we have just extended it let's escape to get out of it and and now i'm going to show you how to do uh, extend a member okay so let's go ahead and um, actually this is kind of useful to be in line mode because you need to select points let's go in line mode okay perfect so we're going to select um extend member so that's under structure cutting extend member and then this little uh, command, well actually dialog window opens up. Um, go ahead and select the three point because I find that one the easiest. You can also do it to a certain plane but it gets entirely too complicated that way. Just choose the three point. So all you have to do, uh, select the three point so you can define a plane that your structural member would extend to. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this point, this point, and this point. And now it's going to ask me to select my structural member. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And it extends itself. Okay, awesome. Let's take a look at the shape mode. Perfect. It looks really good. Okay, so those are very useful little tricks to have. And I'm going to show you another quick little thing that I've learned the hard way. Um, sometimes what you will find, just because each of these members are justified by their um, like their middle point on the middle of their web um, that's what the other members would extend to or that's where the grid is so here uh, let's first say you wanted this member this this highlighted member all the way to the edge of your column you could do a lot of things change the justification of your members which I will show you later how to do but the easiest way is once you select it at the end you'll see a little grip and once you snap onto it it would turn orange or some sort of color. So just drag it, and as long as you have orthographic restrictions on, you can drag it to the edge that you want it to extend at, and kind of snap onto that point and press or click on it. Click your mouse button, and now it's nicely extended all the way to the end. Okay, so we're going to do that on all these corners because that is going to help us out quite a bit. Again, doesn't matter which way you're looking at it, you can always select that little, and we can extend it, and click, and it's extended. Let's look at the other point. Again, doesn't matter what your view is, you can still select it through the 3D object. Here, as long as this is the only thing that's selected, I should be able to just snap onto it, and go to the, go to the plane that I wanted to extend it to, or any edge, really. Um, usually it's easy because there's a lot of other structural members there. Let's extend this one as well. Why not? We'll extend it to this edge. Perfect. Now, 
let's do some mitering cuts. So we're gonna apply mitering cuts to our um, very the top corners over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's get started. Um, again, under the structure palette and cutting, you will find miter cut members. Go ahead and select that. And all you really have to do is select to, uh, well, if you read your command prompt, it says um, align edges, gaps, those are extra options. You can click on it and expose them yourself. But most of the time, all you're going to be doing is selecting, selecting the first object and then the second object, and they will miter themselves. Okay, let's do this corner, first object, second object, perfect. And as you can see, you can do multiple objects this way too. Second object, perfect. In that case, I suppose we did really didn't need to extend the other member, but um, it was just a good thing to show you guys so you know it for the future. Okay, perfect. Uh, now that our mitering cuts are done, now we're going to learn how to um, cut back members because as you can see, this is our main structural uh, beam going across and all this, um, the inner beams here uh, are kind of have interruptions with the main one. So we're going to do here a cut back member. So uh, again, under structure, cutting, click cut back members and here first thing it asks you to do is limit uh, select the limiting member so it's the member that is going to limit the other members that you want to cut or uh, or, or, or cut back so go ahead and select this member and it will be highlighted and then again go back to your uh, command prompt and it says select structural member to cut so we're gonna select this one first and then you keep on doing it as many as you need on this case let's go ahead and do this one as well and let's go ahead and do this one and this one okay hopefully oh no those two didn't cut I suppose we'll have to here is a point where um, it's not cutting it's simply because uh, the justification is beyond that point so easiest way to do is you can also grab the snap on point and grab it to a edge any edge really how about we grab it to that edge perfect done okay and here it didn't cut as well okay let's give it a try again and now we will select this member oh now it works again okay so I will show you one more time because we're gonna have to go ahead and do that for the other side cut back members select your limiting members nice ask you to select the members to cut we're gonna go ahead and cut this one and that one and here's a little bug even after you get out sometimes uh, the limiting member stayed selected uh, I don't know why it just happened so uh, the easiest way to get rid of it is select another member and click back to that member and press escape don't ask me Sometimes it just happens that way. Oh, it still didn't cut. Select that member and put that member up again. Perfect. Now it works. And next thing we're going to do is, uh, well, it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, so what you need to do is go back and um, go ahead, cut or somehow bring your columns down to the bottom of your uh, beams there. So do that to all of them. And at the very bottom bit, uh, here what we're going to do, as you can see, there's a lot. These ones are these ones are going into your column, so are these ones. So cut them all back so they're at the uh, extreme edges of the column. So this one, I'll do a quick little quick little example. This one, see here, it's a kind of it will be limited to this edge. You can do that or cut them back whichever suits your need and go ahead and do those all and on the next session uh, I'll show you how to put some uh, grating or some plates on uh, so we can create some surfaces uh, to put our equipment or walking area on so um, see you guys next time